Hello, سلام علیکم Namaste Hello And uh, I hope everybody be fine Actually I'm not feeling well today because I heard the sad news about Afghanistan and the news that we heard about what happening, what cruel things happening for innocent mother and babies in the hospital and how they killed this innocent pregnant mother at the time of the birth and the newborn babies. It made me so much sad and I'm very, very upset about that. I wish the best and wish peace for the, for the world and especially for these innocent people in Afghanistan. Um, actually, I can't believe this much cruel happening and I hope just be pray to God in this precious time of the um, um, Ramadan Ma that we believe on that in this night especially um, God listen to human pray hopefully all of Afghan uh, women and midwives they get peace in their place um, today I have to talk about uh, our previous sessions our previous session, we were talking about how we can manage our antenatal classes and how uh, it can be attractive for parents to attend these classes. How we as a midwife, as a birth care uh, and a birth uh, caregiver or childbirth educator, we can facilitate our classes and how we can uh, provide the best teamwork and uh, facility in our classes that attract fathers and mothers. We talked about some other uh, antenatal classes privilege that uh, can be uh, designed for some low socioeconomical groups of mother and how we can arrange and manage it that we can give and provide better health and services to mothers. We talked about how innovative we can run our classes and how as a midwife we have to be leader and how to be as a leader role in managing the content, classes, team of trainers, plus providing um, information and study material in proper way for the parents. But now we want to talk uh, how many mothers and fathers we can consider for every, every groups and every training. In some countries, we started this project in hospitals. When we were um, managing these antenatal classes and group gathering in some hospitals, we didn't have any choice. We had to make it as a big groups of mothers and fathers. But most of the time, uh, we need to make this group uh, to be as an unf mm, Favorable. Uh, sometimes this big group can become very unfavorable learning environment because uh, the woman in this big group training identified that um, it was impossible to engage in questioning and discussion, or they were um, uh, annoying us. It was impossible to have their personal problem address or it was impossible to make friends and impossible for the educators to seek appropriate feedback from them. So we reached to this result that we have to try this uh, group function in a smaller and um, 
as a composed of about 8 to 16 people um, packs uh, because this ensures that the more shy members can contribute if they want to and gives everyone an uh, opportunity to be heard and have his or her personal needs at rest. It may be acceptable to offer information to a larger group, but the expense of bringing people together has to be questioned if what is going to be achieved could equally well have been achieved by giving a hand out at the antenatal clinics. Most of times we were inviting couples, seven to eight couples in a small sessions, and it gets very lovely answer from them. to the place that you want to provide these uh, services. Sometimes you have all of these sessions in a small groups but you want to make some refresh course at the end of their pregnancy or maybe you want to have some one day course on one, one day session just for review the previous classes in the end of at the end of pregnancy. It depends to the needs of groups because at the end of the class you can evaluate couples and understand what they need so you will plan their next session to help them according to their needs. But we have to know how many sessions and how long we have to make these sessions. Women uh, most of times wanted to attend more than one antenatal session because they believe that uh, to attend uh, more than one antenatal session give them this opportunity and they can meet over a number of weeks their midwife and the other women and make friendship with others so they can continue this friendship and they can understand their midwife feeling and midwife training as well and they love to continue their antenatal classes till postnatal periods in addition single session always was considered very simply inadequate to cover the many topics and which they wanted information and which they wanted to discuss. Sometimes they are in a hurry to finish the session and go to back, to go to home, go to work. Um, they cannot see properly and think about the topics and contents we were talking about. So they like to go think about that, make plan and bring their question for next session to discuss about that. The other things, uh, yeah, most of times the information is retained according to their perceived relevance to learners. And antenatally, mothers and fathers will be interested especially in issues relating to pregnancy, labor, birth, and the first week of their new baby's life following the birth as they begin to experience all the dimensions of their new role, they need for more information on subtopics and for support from other new parents and her professionals become apparent. For this reason, antenatal groups that continue into the postnatal period of her midwives a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to help mothers and fathers cope with problems that could only be dimly anticipated antenatally. Thank you. Information about what? Which information? For example, information about um, infant feeding, sleeping, 
winning emotional development becomes immediately relevant in the postnatal period. Listening to the stories of people who parents have already met in their antenatal group provides a wonderful way of normalizing experience for them. The ideal, therefore, is to move away from antenatal education to one of the transi transition to postnatal and parenthood education, with session starting, for example, from mid-pregnancy. It can happen from uh, 20 weeks of pregnancy and continuing into the three to, three to six months of the baby's life. And this sounds very interesting for them and very helpful, very informative. It would be reasonable to agree that this level of support might well reduce demands on community midwife and uh, specialist community, community public health nurse and general practitioner and lead to a reduction in the incident of mental health and relation back down following childbirth. Women can manage anxiety about their baby's development if they can compare notes with other women and gain a board concept of what is normal and what is not normal. They get so confident when they hear the problem that's happening for them. It happened for every woman and it's normal in that situation. It's not a big issue, it's not a big deal. They get some advice from each other, and maybe sometimes this advice became the best healing for their psychological and mental issues. Sometimes the fathers sit together, chat together, and they found that the worries and fear that they have in their mind, it's happened to all fathers, it's not a new issue for a father. They are not abnormal. They are going in their normal routine way of life and it is the new deal for all new parents. But be, be very careful. Try to make the length of individual session according to the tolerance of the adults. Because as you know, adult learning, uh, it's very different by child learning. Shorter session may be more tolerate for heavy pregnant woman and tired father. As you know, sitting in that chair for long time, long, long, longer than one hour is so difficult. Actually, we are trying to provide mothers some birth ball or we give them some special uh, pillow to sit on that that don't get tired. Or sometimes we will ask husband to hug mother from the back of their shoulder and do some massage that they don't get that tiredness in the class. But anyhow, the average attention span of an adult is about 10 minutes. That means uh, that activities discussion and information giving that continue for longer than this may result in a diminishing return as far as learning is concerned. So in order to retain people interest, every session needs a variety of learning opportunity and the leader needs to set a course that is acceptable to both activities and professions. I'm so sorry uh, for this reading. I think um, this is always live class. Is what's happening in live class? So uh, you should consider that something very is very important in adult learning. For example, um, if the activities, the activities, discussion, and information giving that continue for longer than any result in diminishing return as far as learning is concerned. So in order to return people's interest, every session needs a variety of learning opportunity and the leader need to set a space that is acceptable to both activities and reflectors because a brain, an adult brain needs water, glucose, and protein to order be able to be in the function. May you 
can make a break and uh, halfway through the session uh, and have a time, make a time in that break for break for parents. They can socialize and have some things to eat, networking, sit together, be more friendship and be close to each other. And it's a good place to make a pace that is ac become acceptable for both activities and reflectors. So, um, I think they are getting to uh, going to end of the session, but you should be very a smart leader because you have to try to make balance in your class in each session between when they are doing their talking or when the mothers and fathers doing their talking, you have to make it, or between people sitting in their seats and moving around, or between work done with the whole groups and work done in a small groups. We should be smart to make balance between, between uh, when you are making between single sex small group work and mixed small group work. And plus, between focusing on terms to do with pregnancy and birth and those to do with living with a new baby. The other thing that you should be very focusing balancing between group participants determining the agenda and how want to give to each topic and the group leader leading the session in between. Be careful, effective evaluation of every session could be carried out using the bullet point list and try in order to, re to write a bullet point and keep under eyes. It's very important how to evaluate that and consider for their next classes. Uh, thank you so much. I uh, have to talk a small words in Farsi for our uh, Farsi language of mine. And please, if you liked our session, our everyday class, uh, follow us in our YouTube channel. It is Lily Mom Center LMC. And uh, please press the bell icon and subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you so much for following us. We are trying to join you every day and have a new experience and share our knowledge together about improving midwifery. سلام دوستان نازنین فارسی زبانم سلام به شما عزیزان نازنین افغان و تاجیک فارسی زبانمون که همیشه دنبال میکنین برنامه های ما رو من خیلی خیلی متاسفم از واقعه و این فاجعه دردناکی که اخبارش رو از دیروز به ما رسید و واقعا جامعه مردم ایران ما و همه مردم ما واقعا متاسف شدن از شهیدن این خبر فجی در افغانستان و این حمله ناجوان مردانه به کودکان و زنان بیگناه زایشگاه های افغانستان امیدوارم که خداوند به شما سب بده و امیدوارم خداوند این پیس و این امنیت رو به دنیا و به کشور شما برگردونه عزیزانم من دیروز در تو با کلاس ها در این چند جلسه فکر میکنم تا حالا 22 جلسه کلاس داشتیم درباره چگونه مدیریت کنیم کلاس های دوران بارداری رو صحبت کردم امروز فکر میکنم جلسه 22 هم هست که میخوایم به این بپردازیم که هر کلاس رو باید چگونه مدیریت بشه چند تا مادر و پدر باید تو هر گروه کلاس مادر نظر بگیره تو بعضی از بیمارستان ها که ما این پروژه رو اجرا می کردیم در کشورهای مختلف ما می مدیم کلاس ها رو بزرگ و سنگین و حجیم و با افراد زیاد رو اجرا می کردیم اما متاسفانه پاسخ خوبی نمی تونستیم بگیریم چرا؟ به خاطر اینکه وقتی کلاس ها با افراد تعداد زیاد هست خیلی راحت نمی تونن زوج ها سوالاتشون رو مطرح کنن توی بحث ها درگیر بشن و حتی بعضی وقتا نمی تونستن راحت به اون مشکلاتی که دارن برسن ادرس بشن و براش ایجاد دوستی سخت بود و اینکه بخوان فیدبک و پاسخ رو به آموزش دهنده بدن به خاطر همین توصیه میشه که کلاس ها هر کلاسی برای 8 تا 10 نفر در نظر گرفته بشه و خیلی بازخورد خوبی داره معمولا هم اینجوری هم خیلی راحت با هم ارتباط برقرار میکنن و هم معمولا حالا تا 16 نفر هم میتونین شما این کلاس ها رو برگزار بکنین خیلی راحت میتونن سوالاتشون رو و مشکلاتشون رو با شما در میون بذارن 
معمولا در رابطه با اینکه چند جلسه و چقدر این کلاس ها باشه معمولا ما توصیه می کنیم کلاس ها رو جوری تنظیم بکنیم که بیشتر از یک کلاس کلاس باشه یک جلسه به هیچ عنوان پاسخ نمیده چون مادرها خسته میشن و میخوان زود از اون ساعت ها خستگیشون نمیتونن تحمل کنن و زود میخوان به این نتیجه سریع برسن برن و دوباره برای جلسه بعدی بیان مادرها دوست دارن بیشتر از یک جلسه باشن. چون میخوان با مادرهای دیگه آشنا بشن چون میخوان با ماماشون راحت صحبت کنن و میخوان دقدق خوشون رو در اشتراک بذارن و بتونن ارتباط بگیرن به خاطر همین ما توصیه میکنیم که برای که به یک نتیجه خوبی برسیم کلاس ها طولانی تر باشه جلساتش یعنی تعداد جلسات بیشتر از یک جلسه باشه و ساعت مفید هر کلاس برای آموزش بزرگ سال فقط ده دقیقه است. ما بقیه اون ده دقیقه رو شما باید با اکتیویتی های دیگه پر بکنین که بتونن از این کلاس ها به نفع خوبی استفاده بکنن حالا اکتیویتی های مختلفی که بتونه این کلاس رو براشون جذاب تر بکنه و از اون خستگی و نشستن های طولانی نجات بده توصیه می کنیم کلاس ها رو جوری برشون برمیزی کنیم که اینها هم بتونن زوج ها و مادر پدر های تازه فرزن به دنیا آمده رو ببینن با اونها ارتباط برقرار کنن و شیر کنن اطلاعاتشون رو و همین که کلاس ها از نیمه بارداری شروع بشه ادامه پیدا کنه تا موقع پوسنیتالشون چرا؟ به خاطر که اینها نیاز دارن به یه سری مسائل پوسنیتال هم توجه بشه براشون از لحاظ سلامت روحی و جسمی یک مادر نیاز داره که این کلاس ها براش ادامه پیدا کنه حتی اقل تا سه تا شیش ماه بعد از زایمان که بتونه مسائل نوزادی مسائل روانی اتفاقات روحی و جسمی و فیزیکیش رو بتونه با دیگران در میون بذاره و ادرس بشه بدونه چجوری باید مدیریتش کنه و اینکه یک آموزش دهنده مناسب کنارش باشه و بتونه با مادرهای دیگه رابطه برقرار کنه و پدرها هم همینطور بتونن اون نگرانی هاشون رو از بین ببرن پس از نیمه حاملگی مثلا از 20 هفته شما کلاس ها رو میتونید تنظیم کنید تا حداقل 6 ماه بعد از زایمان ادامه پیدا بکنه و چیز دیگه ای که خیلی مهم هست حتما کلاس ها رو جوری تنظیم بکنید که یک برک داشته باشه چون یک بزرگ سال نیاز داره وسط اون کلاس یه استراحتی بکنه یه چای بخوره قهوه یه شیرنی که پروتئین به بدنش برسه انرژی به بدنش برسه و اون زمان بهترین زمان دوست داره ارتباط اجتماعی با دیگران برقرار کنه و ما که به عنوان لیدر ماما یا مسئول کلاس های زامی آزایمان هستیم باید بتونیم یک بلنسی هم اینجا ایجاد کنیم یعنی بین این برک ها بین این قسمت ها بهترین زمان هستش که بتونیم به اینها به نیازهاشون پاسخ بدیم و خیلی از این ارتباطات رو بین زوج ها و والدین برقرار بکنیم باید حواسمون باشه به عنوان یک ماما و یک مدیر مرکز مشاوره بتونیم این بلنس ها رو در نظر بگیریم مثلا زمانی که وقتی که اونها دارن صحبت میکنن و مادرها و پدرها هم دارن صحبت میکنن بعد بینشون یک بلنسی اتفاق بیفته یا زمانی که میان توی قسمتی مادرها میشینن و یا یه سری دارن حرکت میکنن یعنی بعد خیلی مدیریت کنیم و اینها رو تعادل ایجاد کنیم وقتی که یه کار عملی انجام میدیم بهشون انجام بدن تو گروه های کوچی یا تا میخوان برگردن دوباره به گروه برگ قبلیشون دوباره یه به هم خوردگی میشه این بلنس ها رو ایجاد میکنیم یا میایم مثلا بیایم بهشون یه تم هایی رو میدیم که مثلا اینو انجام بدن و وقتی که حالا این تم هایی که ما روشون وقتی میخوان فوکوس کنه روی این تم ها کار در طی بارداری هزایمان هست و اونهایی که این تجربه رو داشتن و اومدن میخوان تجربه رو بگن اینو ما باید بریشه تعادل برقرار کنیم که بتونن به هم اطلاعات بدن همچنین بین کارهای گروهیشون که ما یک در وظیفه ای میدیم بعد برای هر کد تاپیک یک زمانی مشخصی تعیین بکنیم و بعد لیت کنیم مدیریت کنیم هر سرشن 
و در در انتهای هر کلاس و سشن یادمون نمیره که حتما یه بولت پوینتی بولت پوینت لیستی رو درست میکنیم و ازش رو میخوایم که حتما این نظراتش رو در اونجا منشن کنن برای ما خیلی مهمه باز هم ممنون از این که اومدین تشکر از این که با من هستین باز هم تأصفم و دردم رو اینجا واقعا ولی هم دردی با شما عزیزانم باز هم بیان میکنم و امیدوارم خداوند بهتون صبر بده و بهتون امنی... امنیت رو به مبلکتتون برگردونه امیدوارم اگر این قسمت ها برای شما مفید بود حتما در کانال یوتیوب ما رو دنبال کنین حتما اون پرس کنین اون قسمت عضویت رو و به دوستانتونم انتقال بدین Thank you everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for hearing me out and spending your time to hear some Persian language in end of every session. Please don't forget, if you like these sessions and these classes, share with your friends. Let's be helped to all of the world to get some experience and knowledge to help mothers and families. Thank you so much. Have a great day ahead. Bye. Khuda Hafiz.